Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available. So if I misspell or mispronounce a word, make sure you have subtitles, subtitles on just in case. Also, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in, this, in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. In early May of this year, at the time of recording, I made a video discussing the infamous AI covers, specifically Michael Jackson and why they're affecting how we view music and how they're a potential threat in the music business. Little over a month after the video's upload, I revisited the comment section and I got plenty of comments about the video, some being questions you, you, would, like me, you would like for me to answer. And in today's video, I will be responding to some of the questions regarding the AI video. Before we begin, hit, this, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you won't miss my latest uploads. And be sure to follow me on my socials, on my socials which will be linked in the, in the description below. Our first comment comes from LCS Mashups, and they wrote, I would say some of the covers are kind of good trash. You can't deny the commitment and dedication cr creators like Kai Mix Music and Motif put, um, put into a AI songs that unfortunately have been taken down by Sony. I would just say we're we're going to need to post all the future projects literally in some dark web in dark some dark web to, to prevent the silencing. While I acknowledge um, Kai Motif and a few others' time and effort to make these covers, there is a boundary when it comes to make making them. Sure, they may seem to be preserving Michael Jackson's legacy, but it, but but at the end of the day, they're just covers created by a computer that hardly gives any emotion or feeling compared to musicians who put their heart and soul into these musical projects. Also, there's no need to get mad at Sony for taking down these covers. If anything, their actions are justifiable. Some of these songs these AI YouTubers create are covers of songs recorded by artists who label have, have to be Sony Music Entertainment. Um, take Justin Timberlake for example, his music has been um, covered um, by AI such as Rock Your Body, Cry Me a River, and, um, and, and, so, and, some, and some of the songs he did were NSYNC. Overall, Sony's actions to take down some of the song covers were justified not only because they were being uploaded on various channels other than JT, but also because his songs were being used and passed on as Michael Jackson songs. I think misrepresenting mis uh, misrepresenting AI AI generated songs as a work of a specific artist can raise copyright and legal concerns. Unauthorized use of an artist's name or likeliness can infringe upon their intellectual property rights and may lead to legal consequences like lo like lawsuits. Okay, our next question is from Artificial Studios, which is one of the AI cover channels. <clears throat> which they which they wrote, what do you think of people using AI to finish unreleased MJ songs that has that were never leaked leaked nor recorded? There is some potential in reworking unfinished outtakes, but at the same time, it may not it may not capture Michael's creative vision of these songs. For example, for example, Kai makes music rev revised in the back and added lyrics to the music um, to the song. I have to admit, it does sound like lyrics Michael would have written. And I, and I even feature, featured a song in my Blood Blood on a Dance Floor EP, um, also, also linked in the in the description below. My only criticism is the notorious B.I.G. rap rap verse during the bridge. It felt it felt out of place and too short to fill in the fill in the bridge altogether. Um, as, as as I said before, I understand their their intentions, but they may not match Michael's vision. Um, I would I would, however, lo love to hear an AI generated version of "Get Your Weight Off of Me," as this is Michael's um, probably Michael's most well known leak. As I as I've seen as I've seen multiple uploads and recreations of of, the, of this leak. Finally, the following comment is why I wanted to make this video in the first place. So this comment is from Spirit Michael Jackson, and they wrote, "What do you think about Michael Jackson's Blue Men? I'm not a big fan of it, but it's pretty good, I guess. 
But the dumbest thing people do is make fake songs when they could when they could use that talent to recreate unreleased songs using AI. So please make a video about it. What is your reaction to Michael Jackson's Blue Man? Um, for those who don't know, in April of 2023, Kai Makes Music released an AI-generated Michael Jackson Michael Jackson song called Blue Man, which is based on which based on the lyrics discusses some dark themes such as police police brutality and prejudice. Um, similar to some of my, some of Michael's music from the mid '90s. Initially, when it was released, I didn't listen. I didn't listen to it for a long while because I was and still and still am skeptical about the controversial technique of using AI to create songs and passing it as if if the art, artists were singing. But after months of avoiding it, my curiosity my curiosity peaked, and I decided to listen to Blue Man. And surprise to everyone. Um, I can't believe I'm, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this song sounds pretty pretty damn good. It sounds pretty good. Um, you can tell that Kai took inspiration from some from some of Michael's deep cuts, such as Tabloid Junkie, They Don't Care About Us, and Privacy, along with the com along with the controversial Jason Malachi song Breaking News. Which leads me to my next question, uh, specifically to Kai and the other AI channels. To those who made these uh, made these original AI generated songs, why try to pass these songs as Michael Jackson songs? Now I understand the curiosity behind these projects, and I acknowledge the dedication and creativity when making them. But these songs have the potential to be your original song. For example, Kai's song Blue Man, which is highly relevant to today's social climate, and Kai himself has the potential to create original music and maybe produce music for other artists. Michael Jackson was an iconic and influential musician who significantly impact, impact the music industry with, with his powerful literacy and creativity in his music. And attempting to pass off AI-generated songs as his work um, can be seen as an exploitation of his legacy and, if in the wrong hands, could tarnish his artistic reputation. Take artists like Drake and Kanye West, for example, who were in the middle of, who uh, months, months ago were in the middle of a controversy when someone allegedly leaked, leaked unreleased songs recorded by these artists and hundreds of thousands of fans believe this was an official leak, when in reality these um, these were entirely AI generated songs and the people responsible were making a profit of these so-called original songs. Our last comment comes from Michael Free, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, but they made some valid points about the AI covers that I couldn't say better myself. They said, quote, I think creators should have more free hand with content without getting criticized for using non-MJ vocals. The Michael album controversy is behind us, and now with AI tech, uh, AI technology, it is possible to produce a good result if you know what you, what you are doing and put in the work with MJ in mind. I am curious to know if AI artists are, protect, are protected by copywriting laws. Perhaps someone can shed some light on it. Um, the problem is that several cre several creators will use AI to pass it off as legit Michael Jackson songs. Um, the Michael album from 2010. Uh, that situation is as relevant as it was as it was 10 years ago because they you they use someone uh, someone to sing Michael's vocals and pass it on as Michael. It is indeed an ongoing issue as some individuals may attempt to deceive fans by presenting AI generated or impersonated vocals as authentic. Michael Free then continues as fans credibility credibility and authenticity. Are essential, are essential to us, especially since our idol was subjected to many false claims concerning his persona during uh, concerning his persona during his lifetime, and later in, and later in death tr with trying to pass on songs using a voice impersonator. 
but I tend to stick to the basics and enjoy any creation on an artistic le level and not let background noises interrupt. I can only do I can only do that because I am safe in understanding and com comprehending MJ's original art and his contribution. I'm in no way in favor of exploiting MJ or breaking the law, but it but it is unfair you have to take take song take some songs off the future album. I'm sure you put a lot of thought and effort into it and shouldn't have had and shouldn't have had to remove it and confront to um to confront with mob mentality and specific cultural values which kill inspiration and in genu ingenuity. The harassment of MJ inspired crea creators is as old as the beginning of YouTube, and I am really surprised that this is still happening. Yes, my yes, Michael Jackson was was done wrong for mo for money on the Michael album by some by some of his close by some of his closest circle and record company, but they did try to put out something fans can relate to, and in a way, is an indicator of the future of Michael's legacy. While it's true that some individuals within MJ's inner circle and record company were involved in questionable actions related to the Michael album, um, their intentions may have may have been to release music that fans could relate to and preserve the essence of MJ's legacy. However, the controversy surrounding the album the album serves serves as a reminder of the importance of upholding um, authentic standards and respecting the wishes of the artists and along with the fans. When I uploaded the original Future album, I was upset due to the backlash I, due, due to the backlash I was getting. But it's been five years since it, since its initial release, and I now have an open open mindset on the casual on the Casio tracks and other impersonated songs. As a, as a result, I've learned from my mistake and recreated the Future album, which is also linked in, in the description below. Also, thank you all. Thank you all for your love and support of, of the album. Before I end this video, I want to add additional thoughts regarding these AI covers. So the day before writing this script, I, sub I stumbled upon a video on YouTube that sparked my attention and confusion. The video was made by by Moonlight Audio, and it's an AI cover of Michael Jackson singing "Morphine" by Michael Jackson. I then commented on the po on the post wondering why they made a Michael Jackson cover of a song Michael already recorded and completed. Let's just say they replied in a rude tone and gesture, but but they, but they say but they said something in the lines of, "If you weren't um um quote if you weren't interested in the project, you could you could leave the video already. Uh, you could you could leave the video already." I te I tested the model on Michael's voice to see if it was really if it if it was realistic enough. Um, their response was extremely ruder than this, but they've since deleted the response and backtracked. Although they didn't um, didn't fully apologize, they did acknowledge that their response was rude. I, I just wanted to know what uh, why they've used an AI model to cover cover an already exist, an already existing song that was recorded and released by Michael. <sighs> I, I don't know. I just I don't know. It just it just it just doesn't just doesn't make sense to me, and it, and, it's, and it still doesn't make sense. But at least I got a decent answer from the from the maker themselves. But I would love to know your thoughts on these AI covers, and I hope I, I was able to give a solid answer to your questions. A quick shout out to Kai Big Music, Motif, and Artificial Studios. Um, I, although I disagree, although I disagree with using AI, I can I can acknowledge their dedication to perfecting the Michael Jackson model. And uh, thank you all who ha who has left comments and, and suggestions suggestions on my on on my channel. They re they really they really help improve they really help improve improve the channel a lot. And make sure you leave a, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.